Oh yeah, it's uh, Thursday, 2nd February. Just show you these uh, flowers that are poking through now very nicely. Two pots of hyacinth and uh, a full pot of crocus. So yeah, they're doing well. But I gather we've got that uh, beast of the east coming next week, so it might sicken them. One never knows. Okay, we'll have a look in the greenhouse. Okay, you might have noticed the other day that I'd uh, put some uh, shallots in. Yellow moon. I don't know what they'll turn out like, but uh, I've had a look at this one this morning, and there's roots popping through. I have sown some more Elsa Craig and Bedfordshire, Bedfordshire Champion onions and uh, some North Holland Blood Red and I've got three or four leeks come through and uh, just a couple of Elsa Craig there I've got these White Lisbon that I've repotted and across the back here there's three all year round cauliflowers and six uh, Ironman Calabrese I potted them on the other day um, I've repotted those lettuce that I had in here and they're looking well along with the ones that I brought uh, from out of the uh, grow light situation they're looking well also so we've got plenty of lettuce to last us over the next few weeks anyway okay and I've potted on all the red barren they're all in these uh, plastic bottle things and these two tubs on the top which once we get past this um, next cold spell I will uh, put them outside and see how they go. Okay, I've uh, made a start with getting the uh, carrot pots ready. There's a couple of inch of compost in the bottom of the two tubs that I've got, both them tubs. And I'm going to fill them up now with compost. I've been at it riddling this morning with this uh, six millimeter riddle and uh, we'll top the uh, pots up to the top and give them a good water and then over the next couple of days uh, I'll sow the seeds okie dokie catch you later right we'll make a start and get uh, this pot filled up number 57 we had a good riddle, there's no uh, feed in this compost whatsoever most of it were from mounted the uh, potato pots from last year so uh, we should be good it is important in my opinion if you're growing carrots that uh, to save mass forking the need to be uh, compost cleared of any stones or hard lumps but, uh, yeah, you know how it goes. one done now so uh, I'll get the other one done and uh, I'll bring you back at some stage when I get to uh, want to sow the seeds okie dokie bye for now okay both pots I've had a very good water in 
and I've got the uh, template down for putting on the top and, it, and there is a, a video somewhere of me using these templates I find it a, a good idea it gives me 19 carats per pot so that's assuming that they all uh, germinate so uh, we'll let the water soak in and then uh, I'll come back and we'll get a, at least one pot sewn on camera okie dokie catch you later okay we've got the seeds and uh, they are early nance two so uh, we'll get this pot done okay just marking where the seeds want to go I'm okay. So we'll see how it goes. I aim for two or three seeds per station. But they're so small are the seeds. You could finish up with quite a few in. Biggest part at time, I wonder if some of these and actually sweeping lumps off of the of the floor they're that they're that tiny they look as though they could be a bit breezy outside. Uh, there's always jobs to be done now this time of year there we go that's that pot done I'll not uh, bore you while I'm doing the other pot but uh, it's more or less all the same sort of thing I have got some pots outside that I need to uh, harvest so that we can get at least another two pots done I have got some as I, as I said on a previous video that um, we will be harvesting end of March, April time so uh, we're not short of carrots that's for certain it's been the best year I've had for carrots absolutely Okay, that looks about it.
There we go, that's pot number 57 all sewn up. Give it another water in. Then we're uh, good to go. I will sew the other pot off camera. I have had uh, one or two extra subscriptions of late and uh, I'd like to say thank you to those people coming along. Always welcome. In fact if uh, there's any out there that would like to subscribe it is free, it doesn't cost you anything. And if you press the uh, bell icon you will be notified every time I put out a new video. Okie dokie, we'll catch you later. Bye for now. Okay, that is both pots of uh, early Nance sewn. So, 38 carats hopefully will come out of that lot. We're talking about uh, lettuce earlier. If you remember on the last video, I uh, put a cartload of seeds into this mushroom tray of salad in. And the reason I did that is because I put some about 20 seeds in a three inch pot a couple of weeks ago and I ended up with one. So I thought the seeds were duff but it just shows they're not but I need a lot for myself and uh, Susan's brother wants some and probably the rest of the family will want some as well okie dokie we'll catch you later bye for now right here you can see I've got uh, potatoes cheating away and some more there and I've still got quite a lot of seeds to uh, start up chipping the one over in the corner is the uh, single seed potato challenge from uh, Steve at Digwell Green Fingers anyone interested I uh, would uh, get in touch with him and uh, give yourself a chance of Winning a bit of a competition. Okie dokie, catch you later. Right under the grow lights, we have uh, a row of leeks, mammoth pot, a row of all year round cauliflowers, and a row of uh, Iron Man calabrese. And we have a full tray of guardsmen spring onions in this one. So, uh, Things are looking okay, and of course on the top we've still got the uh, peppers. So yeah, everything's moving along nicely. So we'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.